Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. Uh, sorry I'm a few minutes late. I had some things I was working on for Estan and Drew. I was working on their uh, their nature preserve, their, what do they call it, uh, Beyond, Drew, Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve. I was working on that. Um, I was working on some mods for that, and uh, yeah, I just ran out of time. But I am here, I, so welcome to the stream, everyone. So today, you might be wondering what the hell we're working on. What the hell is this thumbnail? And I am working on the Car Town Zoo, based off of the hit game Putt-Putt Saves the Zoo. Um, so, I, w I was going to make, you know, I, I, I had to work it in somehow. I was like, you know, I, I need to work on Putt-Putt somehow for my stream. Um, and so... Uh, me and uh, Stoppable San uh, basically thought of this idea where we would just recreate the zoo from Putt Putt in Planet Zoo. So San has kind of drafted out the map here, um, the basic layout. Uh, so this is the Arctic section, this is the grassland section, and what we will be working on today, which is the jungle section. Hello, Nicholas. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Um, so this is going to be what we're working on today. So the jungle land is, uh, this area over here. So it's got like, you know, a lot of trees and waterfalls and stuff like that. And hello, Philly sports. Hello, J dog. I love you. Oh, everyone's coming up. We expect absolute realism. <laughs> yeah. That's the funny, the idea behind it was we are going to make this zoo, which is ridiculous looking, but make it like eerily realistic to where it actually, like, functions properly and stuff as an actual zoo. Um, so yeah, I believe San based it off of the top-down view of the map, which is this. Uh, so, give me a sec. Let me see, because I have to get, like, unless I wanted to play the entire game again, I, I, this is what I'm going off of reference-wise. So I believe this is what San kind of went about doing. So again, we're going to be doing the jungle land section for now. And we're going to be just kind of following this general layout the best we can. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of get started. So I sort of have to orient myself a little bit here uh, with where stuff is on the map. Because obviously it's a little... I might actually pull this up. Yeah, I don't think anyone was expecting this kind of stream today. I like I'll be honest, uh this was kind of a spur of the moment thing where I was like, okay, well I could work on Roger Williams, could work on on my aquatic park, but no, let's work on like putt putt cuz so I'm not going to lie, I have no idea what Son was doing here cuz this isn't an actual thing really. Um so, I'm just going to kind of rework some things. So, so let's just get started, because I think I'm going to need to do some landscaping, because he sort of recreated it decently well, but it's not perfect, so I just wanted to fix some things. So, we're going to start out with uh, some waterfalls. Papa is God. So yeah, so let's start by adding some of these waterfalls here. I guess, do I want to use the double wides? Probably. So if I do this, um, let me see what the waterfalls look like. Give me a sec. Um, I need the picture of the entrance to Jungle Land. Thank you. Okay, so it's kind of like a, a tiered waterfall. So in that case, we're going to use the double wides, and we're just going to stack them sort of like this. So it'll sort of, yeah, and that works pretty well. And then we can do, yeah, like I said, Son kind of, I don't know what the hell he was tracing <laughs> or like going over but it's not totally accurate. Um, so maybe... I'm trying to figure out what the hell he was doing. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what the hell he was working on. 
Um, so let's see what we got. So okay, so this I see I see now. So this goes like this. Now this needs to be an elevated path. We're gonna quickly lay out the paths quick. So let's start working on those. And we'll do super wide paths because they're for cars. <laughs> Hello, Jay Campbell. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I love just introducing everyone to uh, Putt Putt because it's ridiculous. Yeah, let me see. Sorry, son. I have to. I have to destroy your river for a sec because I need to readjust some things. I had a stroke reading that. All right, so okay, so that's like that. That's like that. We're gonna move in some of these things a, a hair because we're gonna put that there. This is all gonna be river that then runs through this area. I'm destroying whatever the hell this little island he made was. Alright. Because we're going to get this accurate looking. You know, this is... <laughs> we're making an accurate version of Putt-Putt here. It's based on the game. So if we do that... Then we have a bridge. So this is where I, I frankly would want to ideally um, not do the pathing first, but I just want to get stuff oriented well. Because then we need a split in the path. Because <laughs> um, the... The way you uh, navigate, of course, uh, around this area is by, um, there is a elevated path with a uh, rope bridge that you swing across to get to uh, the next area. So we'll do this, and this is looking decent so far. So then we're just going to kind of orient this up a little bit. And then I believe we should be good to go ahead now and do the water. Now that I sort of understand where stuff is. Because then we have to add this little section over here. Which leads to a drawbridge across here. And then... This whole area is a little mountain section. We're going to be good. Car Town Zoo. What park is this? This is Car Town Zoo. So this is based off of Putt-Putt Saves the Zoo. An amazing game for amazing people. Okay, so if I do this and then do this. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now, let's see. So what's funny is it's literally like a river followed by jungle followed by a river again. So so this is what's confusing about it, right? So there's a little lake over here, right? And then you go through and there's... So this is a bridge that we're going to build. This is a bridge. And that's what, you know, the waterfall bleeds into. But then this is land. <laughs> so this is all land right here. And we can kind of terraform it so that it does that. But this is water. Okay. Reference photos. Pull those up. Okay. So we have the double waterfall goes under that. And there's a little log bridge there. Okay. So let's add the water in. 
So water goes there, and water should fit there. Okay, now we're looking better. Okay, now it's actually not terrible. And yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure today is going to be kind of a lighter stream day for the chat and stuff, just because I know a lot of people are in school and uh, might not be interested in pot pot, believe it or not. So <laughs> I would definitely, you know, not be expecting the normal audience I, I would get uh, on an average stream day, especially because we're coming off the holidays now. So that's always something I like to take into consideration. So if we do that, we can then move the path. Hmm, how do I want to orchestrate the main pathway? So it's like sand, but it's also like a canyon. So there's waterfalls on either side. <laughs> So I don't know if San is going to mind me doing this already, because he's doing the grassland section, but I'm going to basically just kind of um, slot stuff into place where I know they should be, just for the sake of the actual thing. I did not know what Pup Pup was until now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure a lot of people who are younger or something, or even older, would not know Pup Pup. It's for a very specific age group. You have to be roughly in maybe your early 20s uh, to to understand what Pup Pup is. Because it was a CD-ROM game back in like between like the late 90s and early 2000s. And it was like a series of games made by Humongous Games. And they made stuff like Putt Putt and Pajama Sam and a whole bunch of other stuff. And so that was sort of, you know, what they did was they just worked on those style games. Okay, so this should be interesting now. So if I do that and then destroy the bridge, <laughs> this is going to be our alligator enclosure believe it or not. Which, I actually have alligators because of the mod, so... Or the mod I made for S-Dan and stuff. So, let me start planning out the foliage. So, don't mind me, I'm gonna drag this off screen so that you don't have to stare at it the entire time, but I'm going to. And we are going to start work. So, first thing, we're going to get some Brazil nut trees because we need some big, tall, tall trees to cover this entrance to jungle land. And then we need some K-Pox, obviously, to kind of also fill in some of the area. And then I'm literally going to place some of these K-Pox lower to the ground just because I want to like cover up the entrance, sort of. And then we're going to also do this, where I basically uh, sink some K-Pox into the ground to like make these kind of like general bits of jungle and stuff on the sides. So like this is a quick and easy way if you want to add like a ton of like really dense foliage is just sink a bunch of K pox into the ground. Hello Muhammad, welcome to the stream. We are working on putt putt. <laughs> Every time I say it, I kind of cringe a little bit, but that is what I'm working on today. But welcome to the stream. Uh, so we're working on the Car Town Zoo. Let me do this, add a couple little rocks along the, the side of the cliff. Uh, I should also mention that later on in the stream, just because I know some people come here for like my modding content and stuff, I will be showing off um, some of the new mods that I've been working on. Uh, we got, we got a Euro European boar, wild boar, that's going to be a fun mod to show off. I will be showing off my manatees. And uh, a few others that I've been working on, because I've been working on quite a few. So, 
that'll be a thing that, you know, some people could look forward to if you stick around. And I'm gonna make you guys sit here. I'm not gonna tell you when to come back. <laughs> you just have to stick around if you want to see those mods. Or you could just watch uh, Drew's stream. I don't know if he's gonna be showing off some of them, but uh, I've been working on a bunch of stuff for their park. So the manatees are for their park, the alligators were... I made a beaver mod. That's another thing for their park. Leaf, hello! Is that, that is this a fucking putt-putt recreation? <laughs> it sure is. This is a recreation of Putt-Putt Saves the Zoo's Car Town Zoo. And we're gonna make it eerily realistic. So it's like, weird. So right now I am working on the jungle land entrance right over here. I'm so here for it. <laughs> yeah, it's like the dumbest idea ever, but I'm kind of loving it. Uh, what do I need? Baobabs. Yes, that's what I was looking for. I know baobabs normally don't belong in the jungle, but the trees towards this entrance are very reminiscent of a baobab tree. So I'm just going to do this just for the uh, main entrance sign. Okay, now um, let's start working on the actual sign. Express our inner weirdness. Uh, are these large ones? Because we want it to be large. We need a big old sign. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So we get, you know, J, U, N, G, L, E. I'm spell. Let's spell together, everyone. So that's jungle, and then we have to type in land. So L, A, wherever that is, N, and D. And then we'll spell jungle land. That would be jungle land, what I was about to do. But perfect, okay. <laughs> this is such a dumb idea. I was just... I was trying to, uh, because I always see, like, Estan and stuff just doing, like, and Drew, like, they just come up with, like, the these ideas where they're just like, yeah, let's do that. And so this is definitely along those lines of, like, yeah, let's just do this. And yes, this was a, like, pre-K game, if you're wondering. This is not meant for, like, adults or anything. This is, like, a CD-ROM kids game. Um, let me just do this. If this actually ends up looking good in the end, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Okay, well that's the jungle in Jungle Land. So I might actually be able... What do we have for... Ooh, I could use bamboo. Yeah, that would actually be really good. So, just to fit it all, if I do like this, maybe three pieces. Yeah. And then we can probably stack on like that. Because I'm not totally sure how big it's going to be in the end, but... Oh, actually, okay. So just one 4 meter probably would have been okay. Freddy Fish, though, that was my jam. Yeah, Freddy Fish is pretty great. 
Uh, I played a lot of Pup Pup, Pajama Sam I liked. Because the plus of, like, all of those games is you could get the, like, demos for, like, the other games. So I didn't really play much Freddy Fish, but I did play an awful lot of, like, Pup Pup and Pajama Sam. And then, like, I got to play, like, the demos of Freddy Fish and, um, Spy Fox and the backyard baseball games and stuff. So let's do this. That's pretty good. Oh, it actually can kind of go up a little bit. It actually seems to, like... Oh, so maybe I don't need this. Because apparently it cuts off a little bit from the bamboo. I believe it or not, I didn't realize this would, you know, be like this. I also want to, like, get some good screenshots at the end of the stream of, like, um, the, like, Planet Zoo, like, really nice-looking lighting and stuff over, like, this stupid, stupid idea. So we'll do this. It'll kind of bleed off a little bit on either side. And then, just because I'm perfectionist a little bit, I want to give it a little bit more breathing room. So we'll do something like that. And I think that's pretty good. All right, so now we need some more bamboo. Do we have, like, really long, thick bamboo? Because I know we have these thin pieces. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I needed. So we need like long, big pieces of bamboo. Which I don't even know how much bamboo there is in a jungle realistically, but screw it. playing that India music. I hate this music. It just scares me. Alright. Anyone have any suggestions on how I'm supposed to be doing the, or how I can do the leaves in the background of this sign? Because I am really interested in how I'm going to try to do that. I could use those fake leaves, but I don't know if anyone had any cool, like, ideas for, like, real... Ooh, no, I do have a good idea. I could use those new panels, um, that are, like, kind of, like, jungle foliage or whatever that they added with the aquatic pack. Yeah, and I could just use those, and that could look really good. I know the bamboo is covering the sign. I'm going to move the text over a little bit in a minute. There we go. And then to get those leaves, I'm going to use those new aquatic... I forgot what the hell they're called. That's the only thing. Theme, aquatic... What did they call them? These things. Planted wood panel. I can rotate these, right? Please tell me. Yes, I can rotate them. Good. So I could do like this. And get those leaves in the background. And then I can probably just put some like... Um, what's it called? Like, uh, K-pop trees and stuff in the background as well to, like, kind of, like, mix it up. But yeah, I think this is going to work out really good. So if I just combine all of it, and just move it into place... This is so ridiculous looking. Welcome to Jungle Land! 
And then this is what I was saying about, like, I can just kind of wedge the k pox and stuff into place. So that they're covering just the top of the greenery with actual leaves. I need to get rid of the branch that's in the way of one of them, though. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> so now the other part of this is there are some little connecting branches sort of like this because you have to like go through the jungle like this. It's like an archway and then you go into the section. Oh, did these not move over with my actual bamboo? That's not a big deal. I can just grab them and do them manually. And we're good. There we go. Excellent. Oh my god, you have it mapped. Out. This is <laughs> oh I do yeah so this is the grassland section this is the arctic section and what we're working on right now is the jungle uh, jungle land section so there's also some mangroves like kind of like this at the entrance to jungle land what are some other tropical plants that I could throw in here. We're going to pretend like this is actual land and it's just that lush that like literally like there's like little bits of grass and stuff poking out. Probably needs a light. Are jaguars and snow leopards able to climb trees? They are. They are, it depends on, yeah, which tree, like, uh, Leaf was saying. Let me add a light. Oh, should probably do that. I thought Sun might have turned on, like, you know, all the stuff, like, disabling, whatever, but I guess not. So, that's easy enough to do. Just, yep, keep water clean. We don't want dirty jungle water. Do all this. I don't even know how necessary this stuff is because I don't plan on having guests in the park. But let's just see. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. What kind of like I almost want like an orange glow or something. Hmm. Cause I'm thinking something like that. But I want it like really bright, yeah. Kinda like this. So this is just gonna be like that, but then sunk into the bridge. Beautiful. So that is the jungle land entrance. Hello from Portugal. Hello there. Welcome to the Putt Putt stream. Putt Putt, well, zoo stream. Because it's technically not the Putt Putt stream. Alright. So now what we want to look up is Putt Putt saves the zoo. Because I need the alligator bridge. Um. Well, this gives me a good idea. Okay, so there's like a branch that hangs over the bridge with a vine. Hello from the Americas. Hello from Italy. You mean ciao. Ciao, come stai? I did take five years of Italian, so I do know. At least basics and stuff. I would say I'm at least at a kindergarten level of Italian. 
Uh, let's see, let's see. So if we do this, and then what do I want to use as a branch? Because I want like a, a long hanging vine that just stretches down that you have to swing from to get across the bridge. So that's fine. That's that that can be the vine. Hello from the other side. So let me see. Maybe do I want anyone know any like good trees with like like branches that I can stick out? Or like because, like, this is another issue I have with the faux trees, is they're great and all, but, like, you didn't add faux branches for us, so, like, it's not really that easy. Maybe use, like, those African logs. These ones. Yeah. I might have to scooch it over a little bit, but this works fine. So we'll do that, move that over like so, and then move this to be like that. There we go! And then, so yeah, so now you swing across the vine to get to the other side of the bridge. Uh, when can I install the African Penguin mod? When I'm done with it. <laughs> Um, that's the, the short answer of it is I've just been working on a lot of other mods, um, lately, unfortunately. So because of that, that's kind of been an issue and I just haven't been able to, you know, get my mods out in time and stuff. So I do apologize about that, but let me see. Is there anything else I want to do with the entrance of the park? We'll have to see. Hello, I'm new to the channel. Well, wait, actually, I've seen only one of your videos. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it depends. What video did you see? Because I have a whole playlist and stuff. The Crocodile Dundee is coming along fantastic. Yeah, I'm working on, like, I, I want to get you it as soon as I can. What I worry about a little bit is, like, how it's going to move. Because I did some tests and stuff, and it does move very robotic. So as long as you're kind of okay with it moving and stuff, like a robot, I can get you it. Um... But yeah, I, I would definitely, you know, take that into consideration if you were thinking that it was going to be like, you know, super smooth and organic animation stuff. Uh, let me get rid of the railing here because I want to replace this with the, what are these, the climbing frames, climbing platform, because I like this wood better for the bridge. So we could just do this. A jungle based zoo. Not quite. <laughs> you could say it's a jungle based zoo of sorts. It's um, it's based off of Putt Putt from Putt Putt Saves the Zoo, which is this. This map right here is what we're recreating. So we're working on the jungle land section right now. Let's do that. So that's good for the bridge, I'd say. And then I need some logs for the main bit of the bridge. So over here, do we have like a sand path? I don't think we do. I mean, I guess this works. Yeah, this one works. So this is the like Australian uh, sand. And it's kind of like a fakish green or uh, orange, which is sort of nice because it's sort of what I'm going for is like something that it's like very fake looking and stuff. So 
So we'll get our green grass in place to kind of litter the side of the mountain over here. What's your go-to gas station snack? I'm not a big snack person, to be honest. So, like, if I were to, like, um... Because if I went to, like, let's let's just say Cumberland Farms, because it's, like, you know, like a local gas station chain. Um, so if I were to go to Cumberland Farms, I would probably get something like, like their pizza and stuff, because it's, like, only, like, 98 cents or whatever. And, like, that's actually a better deal than, like, getting, like, a bag of, like, Cheetos or something, or Doritos or anything of that nature. So that's usually what I do. I know uh, Julie will usually get beef jerky if we're out. Um, but yeah, I'll get like a piece of pizza or something. Because they have like actually really good pizza at my gas station. Which, trust me, like, you know, I, 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 that sounds ridiculous, but no, they actually have incredibly good pizza and it makes no sense. Because gas station food should not be good. You aren't a candy person either. No, I hate snacks. I, I I don't like chocolate at all. I don't really like candy. Um, and, yeah, I mean, like, I'll eat chips if you, like, have them or something. But, like, I, it's never my, like, oh, my God, I need to eat it or anything. I know. I'm just... A, an anomaly when it comes to food because people are like oh well then what do you like to eat it's like uh italian <laughs> seafood stuff of that nature i me, i'm gonna shave off a, a little bit off the top of this uh ridge that son made it's a little too tall for my liking Wawa has the best gas station food. Yeah, my buddy Tyler lives in Maryland, and, like, yeah, he loves that. I've heard good things about Wawa. But, yeah, around here, it's all Cumberland Farms. Pretty much all of New England. Just because it's a, lo a local chain from Rhode Island. And they've kind of migrated into colonizing Connecticut and Massachusetts and stuff like that. Not a sweet lover, huh? Kind of like the famous radio demon. Yeah, like, I just... I, I, like... I like... I, I like the most boring version of any kind of food. So, like, I'll eat sugar cookies or glazed donuts or uh, cinnamon rolls or, like, vanilla ice cream. But, like, yeah, I'm definitely... It's, I, I wouldn't say I have a sweet tooth for anything other than, like, fountain fruit punch. <laughs> Which is an endangered species, because I can find it, it. It's harder to find each passing day, because a lot of places are getting rid of it and stuff. But, uh, I have a sweet tooth, but I can moderate it. I love chocolate. Vanilla ice cream is amazing. I know vanilla ice cream is, like, I, I have no issue, like, you know, with vanilla ice cream. Um, it's just, like, if you were to offer me... Pretty much any other flavor. I'd maybe eat strawberry ice cream if, if you gave it to me. But most flavors are usually like a no-go. Uh, where's turn off elevate? Railing on elevated. There we go. Perfect. So you swing across to get to the other side of the bridge. Let's add some supports in the bridge. <laughs> this is so dumb. I like I like I'm actually like trying with this zoo to make it like accurate and while also like a fucking like 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 right off the bat the fact that you have to swing across a bridge is already something that would make this zoo you know unable to be used in planet zoo but oh oh oreo cheesecake i've never had cheesecake i've heard it's pretty good 
Like, I heard people love cheesecake. I just, I've never had it. Um, definitely not a cake person. Like, if you were to offer me cake, unless it's vanilla, like, like white cake, probably a no-go. I'm just, I'm not a huge cake person. Um, oh, apparently these are held up by rope. Not... Seems ACA compliant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would say so. This is definitely what the AZA had in mind. They were like, yep, just you hang out, clap. Well, here's the best part, right? And I'll, I'll show this off in a minute. After I'm done hanging out or hanging these ropes that, you, uh, that are holding up the fucking bridge. Uh, I, I will show you how AZA compliant this section of the zoo is in general. Uh, so let's do this. Okay, so that's what th th these. This is what's holding up the bridge. So now you you enter into jungle land, right? You come through here across this rickety bridge you have to swing across this vine. Uh, over here is a baobab tree. Let me place that down. Give me a sec. I need this to be round. Ooh, how do I want to do that? Hold on. Time to think. I need a round path. So if I did like angle snap. Can't. How do you do the stupid round path thing? I'm trying to remember how you do, like, the... Because I don't want that. Or do I? That could work, maybe. I can maybe make this work. Yeah, this isn't a terrible thing, so I could maybe work, work with this a little bit. So we'll delete this, and instead do something along these lines. Come on, just let me- I, I just want to, like, make this area round, and I'd be good. <laughs> Nick isn't a food person. There was a Niagara Falls with saliva. It would be this stream. F. Do you mean pressing Z to straighten the path out? Um. No, there's like a way that you can make a perfect circle. Um. Let me see. I think you have to like maybe change the length of it. I think that could be it. At least what I'm referring to. Wait, give me a sec. Let me just do it off over here or something. Oh. Did I turn the curved slopes? Is that it? No. What the hell am I... Um... Uh... Snap along barrier, it's all fine. Elevated length, that's fine. What am I talking about? Oh, I think this might be it. You do that, and then you do this. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. And then you do this, delete this one. And, like, if you brought it around, it makes a perfect circle that way. But, like, what I need is not technically a perfect circle. It's just something that resembles a circle. And so that's... I love how... Yeah, this is what I was talking about. So I need just, like, a path that is somewhat curved a little bit around a baobab tree. So that's why I was like, I mean, I 
kind of, you know, don't need it to be super crazy or anything. Like, it can just be straight, and then as long as I'm able to just kind of round out the path over here. I don't know why it won't let me connect it here. I don't know what its issue is. Because, yeah, it really just does not want me to round out this area. I think it might be because it was uh, elevated. That could be it. Yeah, that was the reason. So, now if I do this, and then let it loop around, do that. Excellent, okay. And then just straighten that out a little bit. Cool. And just because I'm a perfectionist, I'm just going to make it overly complicated to do that. And then we can place our Baobab with our monkeys. <laughs> uh, let me think. I guess this is the best Baobab. Yeah, that ain't bad. I'm fine with this. Sweet. <laughs> Nick, I got a peacock for the off. Oh my god. <laughs> I got peacock for off. Uh, I like the office, but peacocks are the worst. I've never said. I forget. Was it Adam of Gaming or so somebody did like a tutorial on like how to make a perfect circle like that? And like, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a really useful tool. But the issue is you have to like plan ahead where you're gonna put it, or else it's useless. So that's kind of the annoying bit of it. Okay, so along this side there is a slight cliff. Or like a, like a, maybe not a cliff, but like some kind of rock wall. So should I make it out of actual rocks or should I continue with the faux rocks? I'm thinking the faux rocks would be better for this area. Yeah, I meant the streaming service. Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Now that I actually read it, like I was just quickly glancing at it at first, but now I actually know what you're talking about. You're talking about like Peacock, the streaming service. Yeah, I don't even know. I mean... I like The Office, but I can live without it for like about you know I I don't I can't imagine Peacock existing ugh, excuse me existing for like another year <laughs> like it's just not it it doesn't have any value it's not like an HBO or anything where like oh well at least you have Westworld and Game of Thrones and The Sopranos and The Wire and et cetera et cetera but like fifty shows that are all really good. Or even, like, a AMC, when they had, like, Breaking Bad. Like, if AMC, for whatever reason, wanted to do something like that, and they were like, listen, only way to watch The Walking Dead and Breaking Bad is on AMC, then that would kind of put that, you know, to rest. But, like, Peacock. We have The Office. It's like, all right. I mean, I don't really see anything that special about The Office that, you know, would make it, like, I have to get it especially because like ever like anyone who wanted to see the office has seen the office by that by now um and it's not like netflix didn't give everyone like plenty of notice because they gave everyone like literally god probably a year's notice that hey by the way peacock's gonna take it from us in a year Thought I wouldn't have to do rock work for this zoo. I was wrong. The build's going a lot faster than I thought, though. And I think it's just because I'm able to get away with just doing stuff like this, where it's just like, oh yeah, I need some foliage. Boop, done. 
Oh, we need some uh, we need some trees over here. Okay, let's just quickly make a jungle. Place down some bushes like so. And look at all that jungle that we just did. And like after I, if I want, I can go back and place in some. Um, palm trees and stuff, but like just placing down K-Pox alone like gives you enough of a dense foliage, etc. <laughs> I mean, I like The Office. It's just, it's not anything spectacular. I think the first four seasons are phenomenal. Like, they're very, very good um... Like, I don't even know what you call that. It's not sketch comedy. It's like, it's like its own genre. Like the kind of like Parks and Rec, The Office, etc. style of, you know, comedy. Um, but yeah, and I, I, and the other thing is you have to be like, okay, specifically the American version of The Office, because the British version of The Office is not funny at all. And there's a reason it only got one season. <laughs> Because it just wasn't very good. There we go. Now we're looking like a jungle. And like some of these trees could be floating and no one would even notice. Like that's the funny part. Just because like we're just trying to litter it. And you come down here, and then, whoa, you can add some palm trees over here and stuff. That one's a little too close for comfort. I want to dial it back a little bit. So if I move that. Mockumentary. Thank you. Yeah, that, that's sort of, yeah, exactly. Like, it's not, you know, supposed to be taken seriously. Oh, man, I was... Hoping that the office was gonna be on Hulu. Dang, yeah. Like I like I liked it on Netflix. Netflix was a good place for it. As like, and obviously it had a cult following on Netflix, so that wasn't you know anything new either. Like people really like the office on Netflix. Oh, G Force Experience came up, but I don't really see you know what they did as anything super crazy or anything. So I believe it needs to be sort of like this, because we have an, a drawbridge right here that needs to come down. And then we can connect this up, and then we'll work on that section in a minute. Let me think. Okay. So this is just literally nothing crazy. I have to add a little log thing over here. Surprisingly, this has been a relaxing build. I thought this was going to be like kind of like an obnoxious thing or anything, but no, it's been pretty relaxed, all things considered. And again, all things considered, I think more people actually showed up to my chat than I thought based off the timing and stuff, because I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I'm back in school. But yeah, this isn't terrible. These paths. Alright, I gotta go zip to a meeting. Yep, thanks for dropping by, Leaf. Thanks for continuing to be a member. I appreciate it very much. Have a nice rest of your day. Um, all right, let's 
let's see. I don't like copying entire rock formations, but I think in this case I will just because I want to just get a lot done in a short amount of time. Because even though, like, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, let's actually work on Pop Pop. Realistically, I just wanted something that resembles the Cartown Zone in the end, then we're just done with it. England is back in lockdown. Yeah, oh, well. I feel like the rest of the world is back in lockdown constantly. We're just constantly in it. And I knew this was like a thing that they were talking about like since basically Corona started. Um, just the whole situation around like, oh, we're... It, the people that thought like, oh yeah, it's just going to get better and stuff indefinitely. No, it's going to be like kind of intermittent. In, intermittent. I don't know what the word is. But like, um, it was going to be a like just constant flip between you know okay we're loosening uh, re restrictions and then okay we're back in lockdown and we're just gonna have like cases like that back and forth they thought it was gonna be a lot worse though they thought it was gonna be like um where it was like oh yeah we have to like everyone needs to like you know stop working for three months then work for two months then stop working for three months then work for two months but obviously like you know it isn't that bad but it still su sucks, obviously. So are the animals coming after you build the zoo, or are you doing exhibits? Um, you know, that's a fair point. I should probably start working on, like, uh, as an example, like, the alligators are right here. So I can maybe do them quick or something. Ooh, where do I want to put the alligator, though? That is the real question. Because I have my alligators, but let me think. Oh, this needs to be land. I didn't realize that. So, we'll remove our water quick. But this could actually help, because then I could throw a trade center down quick, actually. So over here, this is all land. And then there's water over there. that sand texture we had again and then we can throw in some alligators and thus just because you guys have been so nice I, I will just probably just you know take this time to show off some of my mods and stuff <laughs> oh Philly has to go so see ya and Joseph is back so welcome <laughs> it's funny how that works all right so Doing decent so far. We have a decent amount of the zoo done. All right. Let's add some greenery over here along the sides. All right. So I'm assuming a lot of these habitats are frankly going to be null and we're gonna work from that. So alligators go over here. So I'm gonna kind of make some like sort of natural barriers, like like placing trees and stuff in the water where like technically it's all contained, but um, yeah, it's just sort of like, okay, they can only go into this little area over here and stuff. So it's not going to be anything super sophisticated, but where do I want to put the trade center is the real question. So 
So I'm fine doing this, where we go around... Wait, is this a thing? Can you not place null barriers in water? Because that's really dumb if that's the case. And I'm going to be very upset. <sighs> really? I wish it just identified water as, like, or, like, the surface of the water as, like, placeable land. So that I'm not chopping through friggin' a million things of jungle just to place whatever. Because <laughs> here we go. Okay. So, let's just quickly throw down a trade center. Or a habitat gate, I mean. Oh, Totter, welcome. Welcome to the welcome to the Pride, damn. So that is the uh What is that? The the five dollar tier? So yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. You're gonna have uh early access to mods and uh early access to my videos. You get to vote on the next mod I make. I think Main Wolf is still winning if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I really I really appreciate you becoming a member, so thank you. Uh, okay, let's do this. And you're gonna get shout outs on my stream, so consider this a shout out. <laughs> um, and then at the end, I'll obviously do my normal shout outs for everyone else and stuff. Um, how do I uh, rotate the entire door again? It's like a hot key for it, I thought. I thought it was just Z, but is it not? Weird. Anyways, let's just quickly throw down a trade center. Just to get some alligators in the park. So trade center normally won't be here, but we're going to just place it here for now. And let's get some alligators! And we need to... It might frankly be easier just looking up in the thing, but never mind, we're good. So I believe there are two alligators in here, in this exhibit. And invalid destination, of course, so what's the issue? Uh, of course, the barrier is incomplete. There. Is it complete now? I assume it is. Nope. Okay, now it deleted. What's the issue? That's all good, that's all good. Okay, so it's over here. So this needs to be connected. Okay, so... All right, let's get creative here. It doesn't like that. It doesn't like that? No. Ah, this is annoying. <laughs> this is very annoying, in fact. Um, hmm. Am I really gonna have to just modify the water again just so that I can place them? I hate this about null barriers. Like, really? Totally understand if this was like a fence or something, but this is literally just a null barrier. It shouldn't have any issues on terrain. Because that was actually something that was funny on um, r slash planet zoo that I saw. There was like a post or whatever that was like, yeah, so this is how you do a proper path and a fence system planet zoo. Take notes. And it was like from Zoo Tycoon 2 and it was just like showing how you could like place um, fences and stuff on like 90 degree hills and stuff. That was crazy. Indeed, welcome to the pride. Uh... 
Yeah, all the all the fun fun goodies that we have here. Okay, that should be good. We should finally be able to get my alligators. Right there, we go. Excellent. So let me just quickly check the. Oh, Otter! Hello, welcome to the stream. We're <laughs> we're building Pup Putt. Um, Pup Putt saves the zoo in Planet Zoo. Um, where is the giraffe picture? There's a picture of like a giraffe or something. Well, that's a picture of a giraffe from Pup Putt. But oh wow, he's live every Tuesday and Thursday, Otter. Every Tuesday and Thursday. We have a good, good old time here. Let me look at the giraffe specifically. There we go. This is what I was looking for, this picture. So there's a railing. Okay, so I, I can kind of take uh, a little bit of leeway here. And I'm just literally going to make it an actual fence in that case. Just so that they don't escape on me. And alligators can't climb, so that's going to be cool. I'm scared of the thumbnail. Don't be scared, it's just putt-putt. Alright, so I'm fine doing that. And then... I don't believe they can go into foliage and stuff to begin with, so I can probably just cover that up. And we'll see. Vet. Throw that in here. I'm a subscribe. Yeah, honestly, thank you. If you subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it. Get to see all the, the fun stuff over here. I wish YouTube let us use PayPal instead of having to go through a card and make transactions easier. Yeah, I because I, I, I saw that too. Like it's it's kind of a weird system, and then people are like, like I guess YouTube also takes like thirty percent or something. What the hell? Where's my alligator? Um. Okay, that's cool. So it just dropped off the alligator, and then it's missing now. <laughs> it says it's in a box, but it's not anywhere. Where the hell is it? That's weird. They go in the plants. Oh, do they? That's going to suck. I'll see about that. So wait, are both now dropped off? No. No. I want to see if it's just that alligator glitched or if it's just they're both glitched. Well, that ain't good. Why are they invisible? Are they invisible? I can't even tell. Relocating to habitat one. Oh. Let's change some stuff here. Because it didn't like that for some reason. So let me try again with something else. Okay. Can you drop them off now? Wait, so animal escaped. Where are they? Is there a way to, like, box up an animal that, like, is glitched? <laughs> I hate this glitch with the eagle mod. I tried to place down an eagle. It made me unable to place anything. Is that a thing? Really? I'll have to check that out if that's the case. I don't know. No one else has reported the... Because, uh... Estan was using it yesterday on stream, and it was totally fine. Let me use it myself. Okay, I don't know what's with these alligators. Is it just because they're modded? 
Like, let me just spawn in something like a cro like a normal male crocodile and see if it's still making them invisible, because then I think it's something with the habitat and not with the animal. But I have a feeling it's a... Okay. So that one shows up. Weird. Okay, that's interesting. I had this glitch with the eagle mod. I placed down an eagle and it made me unable to place anything. I think it's because I messed up some of the files, so I'm stuck with an eagle because I lost my panda statue folder. So that is a case where if you don't have um, a backup, right? If you don't have a backup, you can always verify your game integrity files. So if you right click on Steam, you can verify integrity on the files and then that should be able to help you out. Um, and that can get you, you know, up and running again. Without, you know, any broken mods or anything. What the hell is this? No offense. This is the Caratown Zoo from Putt Putt Saves the Zoo. So right now we're working on the jungle land section. We are recreating this map essentially. So that th we are we are making this map of a zoo, and then you come into jungle land, and then you go through this path or whatever. So this is what we're working on right now. <laughs> um, we come through here. You have to swing across this vine. Let me do this as well. And then if I add a bunch of so th this I'm going to decorate in a minute, but like if I just do this along here, he shouldn't be able to escape, I wouldn't believe. You can maybe escape this way over here. But now he should be good. Why do they have ice hockey at a zoo? Yeah, exactly. It's for it's it's for the polar bears and penguins. Why the fuck do they have ice hockey at a zoo? Honestly, I, I asked the same thing when I played it the other night on my Discord. I was like, um, is that an ice hockey rink? What is that doing in a zoo? But yeah, it's for the polar bears and penguins to uh to play with. Alright, I'm changing it from the classical music. That's I hate it. Yep, that's the loud music. Okay, African music. Cool with that. Did he just swear? I do swear. I, I swear on my stream sometimes, so I apologize. Normally my recorded content is nice and filtered, but I, I do swear on stream, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I'm sorry kiddos out there. So what is the issue? Where why are they able to Aha, this is the issue. So if I do this and block off this area. Oh, well that would explain it too. They could just literally dive underwater. <laughs> Live news from the ice hockey polar bears eat penguins on the pitch. And yes, before you say yes, I know uh, penguins and polar bears don't live next to each other normally. But they do at Car Town.
because it's all part of Arctic land, even though the penguins live in the Antarctic. But, you know, whatever. Don't question it. It's Pot Pot. And Pot Pot is great. Alright. So, if I do that, there we go. Alright. And I will say this crocodile hasn't moved either, so that's kind of helped me. <laughs> this is why YouTube is 13 plus. <laughs> that is technically true. Okay. Um, what is the issue now? It can escape over here. Um, this is just going to be a little creative way. <laughs> I'm going to cover it up. There's just going to be a bunch of logs in the water. There you go. Now, can't escape. Right. What the hell? Okay, I want to know how it gets here. Because it needs to be getting there from... Like, the water or something? But I have no idea how. Oh man, the last time someone told me that penguins and polar bears lived in the same place, I nearly screamed. Yeah, how are they getting over here? Um... Uh, so I'm not sure, so I'm going <laughs> to and this, again, makes no sense, but, well, let me see, where, it's just this area, right? So are they somehow glitching through the rocks, or are they able to come around here somehow? But I don't think they can. How do you get the mods that aren't out? Uh, so... As a Pride member, I'm going to be basically sending occasionally on my community tab of YouTube. I'll just periodically send out um, a thing that'll be like, you know, here you go. Thanks for being a member. Uh, Pride members and Lion Rider Kings, you're able to, you know, eat, uh, get access to like a Dropbox link. And that'll take you to the uh, newest mod and stuff. So, like, uh, as an example, the next mod, and we can take a little break right now uh, and show it off, I suppose, that you will get, you guys who are Pride members will have access to early will be the... Give me a sec, let me just do this. Speed building a quick little testing site. you will have access to the wild boar mod. So give me a second, because I need to find a warthog. And I believe I used the mail. And this is the first mod that I started playing around with. Um, what's it called? I, this is the first mod where I used uh, the first like custom fur shaders so it's very different looking from the warthog and i did it by like making it like very fuzzy and stuff so this is a first first look so this is the boar mod the wild boar mod so check this baby out so this is going to be available for uh pride members so totter you will have access to this very soon and like I said, it'll be available just uh, through a Dropbox link on my community tab and with like a picture of the boar, and then you'll be able to, you know, download it. It is very chunky. I want to put this with my bison. Yeah, it's a very, very chunky boy. It's an absolute unit of a, of a boar. <laughs> Uh, cause the only reason I even made this mod is cause like, uh, I think Estan was like, I want some wild hogs in, I want, I want some hogs in my, my exhibit. And then I'm like, okay, I can make it like a boar or something. And so originally this started out as a pig, but I was like, no, let's make it like a tank. Let's make it massive. What's Dropbox? Dropbox, well, I don't know if it'll be Drop. it might be Google Drive, to be honest. But it's just some sort of like, you know, uh, service that lets you download stuff. 
I don't know if it'll be a media fire link, a Dropbox link. I think the last one I used Google Drive though. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, can anyone else or can anyone use the mods or do they have to be a member? Anyone can use the mods. It's just my uh, members and stuff will get early access to them. So as an example, if you wanted a new mod today, uh, the Binturong is available now. Uh, a few people got access to the Binturong a little bit early, but the Binturong you can go download right now. Uh, so if you just go to that video on the new Roger Williams episode, go to the link in the description. It's uh, available on Nexus. Let me show off some of the other stuff that I've been working on, though, because you're probably interested in that. So one of the things that once I found this, the uh, the fur shader, I immediately started work on a sloth bear mod. Uh, so originally, I obviously had my American black bear, which I've updated. But this is the sloth bear work in progress. So it's very, very fuzzy, and it's got big old, big old claws and a big old nose. But again, this one's kind of work in progress, so this is uh, not quite done yet. But how do you even create your own mods? Uh, I have a whole playlist on YouTube on my channel, uh, and that'll literally let you know how to like, you know, start creating mods and stuff. Tiny neck. Yeah, he does have a tiny neck. Uh, that was just the, the thing is I was like, okay, I need to make him like very, very fuzzy and, and sloth bears are just so weird, <laughs> weird looking. See, it's funny. I have half the people saying that he's adorable looking and I, like half people saying like, this is disgusting looking. I'm leaning towards the disgusting element, but he is fuzzy. So I'll, I'll give him that. But I think the face is definitely a little bit cursed. Um... <laughs> and then I just love this. You can just put it next to the boar, and it's like, oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> like, um, but if you want a a real real cursed situation, we're gonna spawn in my next animal, which is the American beaver. Uh, so the American beaver is a little bit cursed for one reason and one reason only, and that is the fact that it uses the Himalayan brown bear <laughs> as a base rig. So give me a sec. So this is the our friend, the beaver. So this is the beaver mod. It's pretty cursed, not gonna lie. Definitely not one of my best mods, but it's a beaver, and it moves like a bear. But it's got a, a beaver tail, and it'll swim around and sort of dive and stuff a little bit. Um, it's so cursed. Yeah, it's definitely one of my more cursed mods. Um, it looks a lot better in the water. If I can throw it in the water or something. Give me a sec. Let me just... Just for now, I'm going to throw it in the alligator habitat, and then you can watch it swim around. It looks like a capybara. Yeah, I know. It, I know it does look like a capybara. People are saying, like, literally, I just need to get rid of the tail and lighten it, and then I have a capybara mod. Um, give me a sec. Oh, never mind. The animal escaped somehow. I don't know how. It shouldn't have escaped. Why is it doing that? weird. This game is very weird. It'll just, like, glitch out and, like, put animals in random spots and stuff. I think it's kind of cute. It, it looks very cute in the water. So, give me a sec. It'll probably run into the water, and then then it'll start behaving like a beaver should. There you go. See? This isn't as cursed anymore. <laughs> you know. When it gallops, it, it's a little bit cursed. But, like, honestly, like, it's not that bad, like, if you look at it, like, you know. Um, you have to squint a little. It's a little ugly up close, I'm not going to lie. But it's definitely not the worst thing I've ever done. I've done some bad mods. It also shits like a bear, so that's the other issue. But, yeah, here's the beaver. So, yeah, that's not, like, terrible, right? Like, you know. 
the 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 hands are a little bit cursed, but like this isn't horrible looking or anything. Uh, so what uh, what over mod? I assume other. What other mods are there? Also, hello Andy, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're building the Car Town Zoo, and right now we're taking a short break to kind of look at some of my new mods that I've been working on. Um, it's Jurassic World's new hybrid. <laughs> So once again, some people, oh my god, it's so cute. Other people, oh my god, this is so cursed. Um, so yeah, I designed this with uh, how it looks in the water in mind. So again, in the water, it definitely, you know, moves and stuff a lot more like a beaver. And then I made it, like, I used the bear because it, I, I could have used a lot of animals in the water, but, like, on land, I'd say... Um, when it gallops, its tail clips a little bit, but when it just walks around normally, it does look more like a beaver. Oh my god, look at all these lion riders out here. All the all these little lions in my chat. All the green names. If you come back if you decide to subscribe again, why doesn't it why doesn't it go under water? Well, it doesn't dive, but it does sort of dive. <laughs> uh, so basically, because I resized the bear, it sort of glitches to make it look like it'll sometimes dive by going completely underwater. You could have used the otter. I could have. However, otters move nothing like a beaver. So this thing would not... This would be cursed as hell. <laughs> like, if it was moving like an otter, it would be, like, flipping upside down and running really fast, and it would not have been looking good, that good. So that is the reason I used the beaver for this. Um, so, yeah. So let's, uh, let's send that to the Trade Center. What other mods do I have right now? Uh, Andy, who, if you didn't see, um, here's my sloth bear I've been working on. So this is like a little fur test. He's a little fur ball. Here's the wild boar. So this is going to be available for all the pride members that are going to be uh, coming out soon. So, you know, that's that. Uh, I've updated a few mods. So this is uh, Nick's Eagle mod has now been updated. Oh, that's cursed. So Nick's Eagle mod has now been updated. You can get your eagles now. So, that's cool. So if I go on the community tab, will I be able to use the other mods? Um, I mean, hypothetically, like, I mean, the American Alligator is now available for everyone. Uh, but yes, technically that was available as a early bonus um, for a short bit. How do you make mods and how do you find them? If you look on my channel, I have a whole playlist on how to uh, do both. It'll show you how to install them uh, off of Nexus, and it'll also show you how you can get started making your own mods, if you'd like. Uh, what other animal mods do I have installed right now that I've made? Uh, African Elephant Remaster. So this is the Elephant Remaster mod. So it has a much more realistic looking texture. It's not no, nothing fantastic or anything. It's just it makes the elephants look a, a lot better. It makes them look more realistic. I do really love like what I did with the trunk shader and stuff. I think it makes... Update the scimitar orcs. Yeah, I was thinking of doing that. The next on my bucket list is to do update the clouded leopard. Uh, and also, for uh, in some great news, Jesse has gotten his first official animal, uh, custom animal, without a replacement. That was a completely new animal that, you know, looks different and stuff. In JWE. So... Still has yet to do it for Planet Zoo, but I'm sure that's on the way. And he's been doing a whole bunch of cool stuff with all the other paleo nerds out there. It's kind of annoying, but <laughs> they always the JWE people always get their stuff first. But you know, cross, fingers crossed, we should be getting some stuff uh, very soon as well. 
All right, what else do I got animal mod wise? Um, oh, I have my dromedary camel. That's available now, so you can go download that one. So let me just pull this up. Where's the clouded leopard? The clouded leopard isn't updated just yet, but it will be on Nexus. So this is the dromedary camel. It's got one hump, and it's updated now. So it's been... I haven't had the dromedary available for a bit, but, you know, it's finally available again. I had to recreate it so it's not as smooth as the last one, but... It's definitely, you know, a dromedary camel, so that's available. <sighs> what else did I do? Um... Let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, Dromedary Camel, updated that one. I'm going to be working on the Gibbon next. Uh, if or uh, Gibbons are also going to be finally being released. For everyone who is wondering about that one. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. Gariel is the... Oh, the Manatee! Let's show off the Manatee mod. So I should probably put the manatee in the water for sure. So give me a sec here. But I can show you guys the manatee mod. I mean, funny, funny fact, I, I was going to do the aquatic pack before I was going to do the putt-putt thing. And then I was going to show that off in there. But, you know, who cares? We could just show it off here. So we'll go gray seal... Uh, female. So this is going to replace the female seal. So if anyone wanted the harbor seal for my aquatic pack, you have to choose between this or the manatee. Uh, so the manatee looks a little bit cursed on land, but once it goes in the water, it'll look fine. So it'll just hop around on land a little bit until it goes in the water. No, no, go in the water. I'm not dealing with, like, sleeping manatees. This is the only, yeah, this is the only issue is manatees, like, shouldn't be able to go on land. But, you know, obviously they have to. Go in the water, goddammit. Or is this too steep? Yep, of course it is. I, I hate this game. <laughs> this is the only game I know that's like, oh yeah, sorry. my This, you know, animal... They made a whole aquatic pack where, like, apparently half the aquatic animals can't enter water. Without it being, like, a 99 degree angle. There we go. And of course, now it doesn't want to because probably there's a crocodile somewhere in the water that I have to box up now. Um, right? Is that the issue? Nope. Animal escape. God damn it. Okay, new plan. New plan for the manatee. We're just going to make a new exhibit. Manatee, you're going away right now. We're going to make a pool for you, buddy. All right. Because it also has to be deep enough to dive in. So I have to also do that. So here we go. This is going to be the manatee pool. Of course. Of course it has issues. What's your issue? Manatee, go in the water. better get going. Well, thank you for dropping by, Andy. I will see you. Thank you for always being a member. Appreciate it very much. You were still my very first. Alright, Manatee, go in the water. Please tell me you can go in this water. Oh my god! <laughs> I swear. This is only an issue with the friggin' seals. Every other animal's just fine in water. 
They just need the most ridiculous... What's it called? Is my game going to crash? Please don't crash on me. It is frozen. But will it crash is the question. You have to give it a minute. So how's everyone doing? I have more viewers than I expected, to be honest. So This is why we don't use the seal in some habitat. Yeah, exactly. It's just such a pain in the ass to do. The game crashed. Yeah, that's sort of what I figured. I will have to check it out. Well, I yeah, I don't know. No, it didn't. It didn't crash. Amazingly, it just took forever to load. Okay, come on. So if I do this, or let me just try this out. Let me add the water back, right? And we're gonna make a little pathway for the seal. We're gonna use this thing since it apparently likes this thing for some reason. So as long as it's a narrow enough thing, it likes it. So let's try that one out. Okay, this should work. At minimum, it should want... Yeah, okay, it can go in the water now. No, don't sunbathe. You're a manatee. You want to go in the water. <laughs> go in the water. No, don't poop and don't sit there. Go in the water or else you're cursed. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? I'm just forcing you in. Kerplop. Okay, well this is even more cursed now. This is very cursed, in fact. This is so cursed. <laughs> You, what the hell? Are you kidding me? So I'm watching this on my TV, but typing on my phone, and my phone is at 10, and I'm debating on keeping my phone on the charger. Okay. Oh my god. Honestly. Go in the water. Jesus Christ. Welfare is... Off and stuff too, so like I have no idea why it doesn't want to go in the water. Come on. I have a okay, this has been a theory for a bit that people have talked about is like you need to make sure that like it's on um like one or two times speed or else the animal literally doesn't know how to behave. So all it'll do is just stand still. Okay, here's what we're doing. We're gonna spawn in more seals, because or else you're literally never going to be able to see this thing in action the way it was supposed to be. So we're going to get a whole bunch of cursed manatees and put them in the habitat. Because I am... Okay, elephant's going for a dip. Yep, there you go. You want to hang out with your cousin? You finally going in? I think he's finally going in. Finally! Now we can see what the manatee is supposed to look like. So this is the manatee mod. Look at it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I'm on three times speed, that's why. I was like, what the hell? So this is the manatee. <laughs> and yeah. So obviously I used the seal, so it doesn't move perfectly like a manatee. But I finally put the manatee in the water. And, yeah. And that's that's the manatee for you. It just it moves around in the water like a manatee should. Now, I still don't understand what the hell was wrong with the alligators earlier. Okay, we're getting rid of the other cursed manatees. Because this is just a mess. <laughs> This is why I don't like showing, like, when people are like, oh, showcase your mods, and I'm like, you sure? Because a lot of them are kind of cursed. 
Well, at least when, like, you know, like, thrown in, like, like shit habitats like this and stuff. Alright, let me try to spawn in an alligator again. Because I don't know why the alligator wouldn't be working. Yeah, what the hell? So there's something wrong with my alligator for some reason. So I'll have to check that out. Because it, sh it should be appearing. I don't know why it's not. Um, What other mods are there? Let me check my mod folder. Because I have all the mods that I've been working on. So elephant remaster. Oh, I can show off uh, the thing that I've been working on for Drew and Estan. So... I finally found a use for the Mecharoo, and uh, it is uh, this. It's going to be a, uh, a Planet Zoo animatronic. So it's kind of like a little like alligator wrestler type guy. Now the texture's obviously messed up, but like as you can see, like you know, it's got like some crocodile teeth, and he's holding like a baby alligator and stuff. So you're going to like just kind of be able to place this down, sort of like almost like an animal ambassador type thing, and yeah. It's just going to be a... Now, this is where I was saying, like, it's kind of... My tests were, like, making it, like, so it was, like, really jerky looking. Because it's using the Mecharoo, obviously. So, like, its head and stuff will, like, kind of, like, mess up and stuff. But, you know, I think it's a decent proof of concept. Um, and so, yeah, this is just going to be a thing. And, like, the plus is you're going to be able to, like, you know... If, if this works out, I can have one where it's, like, a person, you know, holding a sloth. I can have one holding, like, a baby kangaroo and a bunch of stuff like that. Especially once Jesse, like, gets the, like, custom stuff and whatever. It should be good. Yeah. If it, yeah, thanks. I love, zoo, uh, love your zoos. Because, like, that was the idea. Is, like, obviously right now it, like, is made out of metal and stuff. But I don't think it's going to be too crazy in the end. Um, like, I, I don't think it, it's that bad. I like the model that I did for it. Like, it's, it's you know, it's got, like, a gator hat and, like, a gator thing. Uh, he has a gun, actually. <laughs> uh, a gun and a holster on the side of him. And so, yeah, he's just a gun, gun, toting gator man. So that's one of the things I'm working on right now. Uh, what else do we got? American Black Bear, I can't show off because I don't have it installed. Black Ruffed Lemur, I could show off. I don't know how interesting that'd be. Uh, Tree Kangaroo, I've updated. So all of these, are, uh, the rest are just stuff that I have available on uh, Nexus already that you can check out. Oh, I did make the Chilean Flamingo. So if people ever wanted a um, pink Flamingo mod, you are in luck. Let me let me grab that for you guys. So if I spawn in a flamingo, you can see the pink flamingo mod or Chilean flamingo in this case. I live in the UK, so I've legitimately never seen a gun. <laughs> yeah, well, that was the idea. Is uh, in America they're quite common. So so this is the uh, Chilean flamingo mod. So, it makes them actually pink. And so, if you ever wanted pink flamingos in your game, there you go. Oh yeah, I guess I never really thought about that. Like, Maggie being all of these things. I mean, the, the flamingo you've probably seen, it's just a Maggie Bee thing. What does the camel look like, Maggie Bee? That is a camel. <laughs> that is a, a big old camel. The manatee Maggie bead would be interesting. It's just a fatter manatee, essentially. All right. What did I miss? I dropped my remotes and YouTube turned off. Uh, nothing. We're just Maggie being some of my, my modded animals and stuff. Because I think for now, um, this is all I have for... This zoo. Oh, damn. The crocodile made it all the way up river. That's kind of crazy. You can put it back in the habitat, I guess. Um, but, yeah. 
So let me see what else I can show off um, before the stream ends that people would be interested in because we have about 10 minutes left on stream. And then I'm probably going to head over to Drew's stream because I want to see what he's been working on for that part. So let me just quickly save this zoo and we'll... We'll migrate over in a second. Can you replace the capuchin monkey with sloths? So, no. I'm going to make it so that the sloth mod is a prop mod, kind of like I did with the eagles. Um, it will be a sloth, but since sloths don't move, I didn't really think it was that necessary to, like, you know, try to struggle to be like, well, I could use a monkey, I could use a lemur, I could use a red panda, when all of those would not move like a sloth would. So I'm literally just going to, you know, scrap all that and kind of figure something else out. Um, what could I show off? I don't know if I've ever shown off my Vegas Zoo on stream. This is a thing that I was using early on for uh, B-roll footage and stuff that I just never really finished. But the idea was it was like a Siegfried and Roy type zoo based off the ones that are located in Las Vegas. And so it was going to have white tigers and flamingos and, um, you know, a whole bunch of things. I could actually spawn in the flamingos now. I was waiting for um, uh, Planet Zoo to get pink flamingos, but now that I've actually modded them, I can literally drop those into the habitat. What is Tier Zoo? Uh, Tears is a YouTube channel that, like, basically makes zoo gaming content, I guess. Basically, they make, uh, nature documentary videos, but, like, do it in a way that, you know, is for gamers. So it's, like, somewhere between, like, Nat Geo Wild and Game Theory, <laughs> where it's just a bunch of, like, editing to make it look like, you know, Overwatch or something of that nature. Give me a sec.
All right, sorry everyone, I'm back. I just had to do something really quick. But uh, yeah, so uh, I know unfortunately the stream is literally about to end and I had to let go for a minute. But we're going to quickly try to spawn in some of the flamingos and stuff and then I'll show off this kind of zoo. There's not much to show off, I will admit, because there's only a handful of habitats. But the idea behind it was, like I said, yeah, like a, like a Las Vegas desert zoo where everything is, you know, very expensive looking and polished and blue water and fountains everywhere and gardens and stuff like that. Let's spawn in a whole bunch of flamingos. That should be connected up. <laughs> Sahara Paradise Lake Zoo. Yeah, so this was my white tiger exhibit. So I kind of based it off of, yeah, like a Shangri-La type deal where, like, you know, it's very pretty and there's, like, flowers everywhere and waterfalls and stuff like that. Um, I had to get around the fact that there's no grass on this map by, like, uh, placing down a bunch of bedding everywhere. So it sort of acts as, like, fake grass and stuff. And then we have, like, the blue water and stuff. Uh, this is the entrance I have. I still have to make the logo and stuff, but, like, it's a nice round circular fountain and stuff with some jungle and stuff of that nature. Oh, the flamingos. Are they getting spawned in? Probably not. Give me a sec here. Let me grab a trade center and then I'll be able to spawn it in. Well, this is a good way to end my day with a live stream about Planet Zoo. Also, I like it because it's not as long. Yeah, I don't like to do, like, super, super long streams. Like, I get tired and hungry and stuff like any other person. So, naturally, I like to, like, kind of spread out my thing. I like the two-hour intervals. I like that. I think that's a solid stream amount. Um, can we see a place where you test your mods? Um, a lot of them aren't nearly as interesting as you might think they'd be. I mean, I could show them off, um, but yeah, they're not nearly as uh, crazy as you might think. But yeah, there you go. There's some of our little pink flamingos. I just wanted a little like splash of color and stuff. I also made this statue, which I'm not as proud of anymore. <laughs> People like Drac and stuff just put me to shame. But like, I was going for like kind of like a, a Thailand uh, setup or whatever. Look at all of the flamingos getting dropped off. But yeah, we have a beautiful... So again, it's not many, it's just two habitats for now. But I did want to expand on this in the future and, you know, do something with it. Can we see a place where you test your... See, like, again, I could show those off because I have a lot of maps. And I don't think any of them are really of value to show off because they're all... Uh, like, I guess, like, Black Bear Test isn't a terrible idea, because it's, this one is at least an environment that I can show off, but a lot of my other test zoos are very similar to, like, what we saw with Car Town, where it's literally just, like, a small area. Or, oh, so this isn't even the one I was talking about. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the majority of my testing sites, is just a cage with a trade center, and that's it. What I was trying to look at was this was instead of black bear test black bear so this is the actual um kind of nice looking scenery that i did uh for th this was for taking screenshots of the black bear mod so this is like kind of like a north american uh you know kind of forest scene so I, I have a few of these. So this is my kind of North American test area. And then I'll literally just like place the animal over near wherever. It'll usually try to escape. Um, obviously, it's not an American black bear right now. It's the sloth bear, like I was saying. But this would be the idea is like you just kind of take your screenshots and stuff uh, over here. So this is my uh, North American one. So, you know, it's a nice little river section. I'll probably take pictures of the beaver and stuff in this area. I have one for the Congo. So I have the Congo Basin. 
So this one is for animals like my African forest elephant and Red River hog and Nile crocodile and stuff. I'll sometimes take photos here. He forgot to finish building your zoo. No, I, I, I will finish the zoo. Uh, I don't know if people were like that interested in doing putt putt and, or uh, watching putt putt. So we might just do this off camera or whatever. Because that was the plan is like I was just going to do one area, San was going to do another, and someone else was going to do the last Arctic land section. But this is my Congo uh, section. So the idea, there's a lot of poop everywhere because of all the elephants I had. But like the idea is it's just like kind of, so this is like a by area where it's like a um, little clearing with some water and stuff like that. Um, I have a little area over here for like a river. Like, basically, all of these are just kind of dedicated for screenshots. All the animals are packaged right now. They're literally, like, littered everywhere. So, as an example, like, here's a hippo or whatever. And so, this, this is just the idea. is like This was just designed for screenshots like this. Like, if I was to take, like, a picture of a hippo or something uh, in, a, in a river... So let, let, even though this isn't a modded animal, let's say um, hippos weren't in the game, and so like I was gonna add hippos to Planet Zoo, this would be a thing. I'd drop the animal in or whatever, go into cinematic mode, and then you can just kind of position it and be like, oh look, it's in the Congo or whatever, and it's near a river bank and stuff. And then you just kind of watch it, and then you're like, okay, yep. And so as an, I took. Um, like I said, my Red River Hog photos in this map, the African Forest Elephants in this map, a whole bunch of other animals. Watch, they're going to all explode out once I delete that bamboo. <laughs> so these aren't the, yeah, there we go. So these aren't African Forest Elephants, obviously. Right now they're like my Elephant Remaster mode. But, um, the same idea though. Is like you'd get like you know little so like let's say, you know I was looking for like an elephant herd picture, you know you can get decent screenshots like this and stuff. Um, so again, I just have a couple of these testing zoos for different in common environments that I use. I had a desert one at one point that I used for like the uh, dromedary camel and scimitar oryx and stuff. I might have deleted it by now. Um, this is my South American one that I can show off. Hey, Dale, what's up? You're, uh, we're just showing off the, we're about to wrap up the stream right about now. But, uh, I'm just quickly showing off some of my different biome parks and stuff for, like, my different mods. So this is my South American mod, um, showcase area. So it's, like, based off, like, a Mayan temple type thing. So, you drop the animal off, you know, there you go. We'll use the jaguar as an example. Drop drop the animal off, and let's say I do like a vacuna mod or alpaca or something, and then there you go. Beautiful, you know, Mayan temple in the background and stuff. That was an elephant bomb that went off, yeah. Um, now, I haven't done as many South American mods, but obviously for Face of the Rainforest, I'm going to be doing... Uh, quite a bit, so like the Tamandua and um, Sloth and stuff like that. So, obviously, like, you know, stuff like that will have to be a thing. But I want to thank you guys for uh, dropping by, and, uh, you know, as always, I want to thank all of my members. So, let me quickly pull up my whole member list because now I have so many. But right off the top of my head, I know Andy, thank you very much. I want to thank, obviously, Totter for becoming a member of this stream, of course. Uh, and then Leaf, I obviously know he was in the chat earlier, so all of them, thank you very much. But also, my other members, I would like to thank Mark, uh, I'd like to thank Mark and Vicky. So thank you very much for staying members. Uh, you get all your perks and stuff. And maybe if you are listening and are, you're enjoying the stream and enjoying my videos and content, maybe consider becoming a member. And then you'll get a bunch of perks like early mods and a bunch of other cool stuff, early ac access to my videos. You were able to watch the Binturong episode yesterday night if you wanted. Um, and so, you know, maybe you could watch the Babarusa episode early or something. And you could watch Julie ranting. 
But anyways, uh, thank you guys for uh, watching. And yeah, so thank you very much. And I will see you in the next stream on Thursday. Bye, guys.